Uh, sorry to hear about Ned, brother. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. You don't know the half of it. Having a New Year's Eve party at my place with Boyd and Keck. All right. Right. If you and uh, the missus uh, happen to be in town, uh, topic suggestion, uh, alpha becoming beta and uh, back to alpha as parental responsibilities change. Good topic. Uh, one of the things. <laughs> give the dog a bone. Thank you very much for that. Uh, you know what, Jim? I'll put your I'll put you up here for a second. OK, so uh, beta to alpha and the, as responsibilities change. I've seen this happen. I, I know why you're asking. <laughs> um, so one of the things, and you can we can look at this sort of from a biological perspective. When men get married or they get into a long-term relationship, their testosterone levels drop. They decline. This is common knowledge. This has re been researched. It's a it's a physical fact. Men's serum testosterone declines once they get into a relationship or once they have kids or once they're in a certainly after marriage right there are certain things there's certain environmental things that like prompt like a spike in testosterone but one thing that drops testosterone is being in a monogamous relationship now you can explain this away by saying well that's that's evolution that's biology right that's that's the way things are designed so that uh so that the um so that the cad turns into the dad his, he's he's more focused on parental investment. He wants to make sure his kids are raised right. He's more into his wife than he is into random pussy. So we can look at this from even a physical standpoint that when a man gets married, his testosterone drops. There's also other factors too, by the way. So for instance, a man's testosterone spikes and the idea of the, the uh, let's see, the proclivity for having sexual intercourse before a man leaves on a long trip it also goes up. There's, there's been research on this as well. And it's not just like modern research. We're talking about like even old school research. So men's testosterone will fluctuate depending on what his status is or what his, like if it, uh, also, if a man suspects his wife of infidelity, like jealousy, that jealousy response triggers a spike in, in, in testosterone as well. When a guy's Super Bowl team wins the Super Bowl, there's that victory. Like when men defeat a, a rival they get a spike in they get a spike in, in testosterone as well even if it's like third party even if it's just like oh my team won the super bowl there's also a spike in testosterone at that point why is that why would that be a thing also when a man goes from being single and his testosterone's here and he gets married his testosterone comes down when he gets divorced testosterone goes back up again now, incrementally, you know, depending on, you know, the loss for how old he is and everything. Also, very well studied phenomenon. Why would that be? Why would there, what would be the evolutionary advantage for that decline and then re and then re raising of the uh, spiking again? What would that be? Like, we, we can sit here and talk, we can speculate about this all day, but you can't, you can't argue the fact that it happens. So why does it happen? Why would why would there why would evolution select for men whose testosterone dropped when they were parentally invested? And why would it spike again when it was time to <laughs> Papa was a rolling stone, man, to move on? Why? Well, that also kind of blows back to what you were talking about. Like you, you're you're maybe you're alpha before while you're single, then you become sort of more beta when you are married and then when the kid you're an empty nester or let's just say you get divorced or whatever reason, then you go back to being sort of more alpha and Lord knows I've experienced that firsthand. Okay. Like I've been, I've gone from being like sort of like low key alpha in my rock star twenties to shacking up or not shacking, up, but uh, like getting involved with that BPD girlfriend that I had for you know three and a half, four years. And then coming back from that, and becoming sort of like I, I, I'm use I'm saying this facetiously, okay? But being more like a lesser alpha, I guess is, that's what that's a that's a designation that Royce used to like. We there used to be de designations of alpha, like greater alpha, alpha, lesser alpha, beta, less whatever it was. That was his sort of sociosexual hierarchies. Um, but being, I would just say, according to according to uh, the survey that I took on on uh, Hartiste's. Uh, uh, blog at one point, I would be a, I would be considered a lesser alpha according to Royce. Um, but going from that to that, to that, well, the, the thing is, is like when you, when you do that, I think really it more, you have to realize what's going on. You have to be self-aware of 
the changes that are going on in you, your personality, maybe your testosterone spikes. I've talked to a lot of guys recently who got on TRT um, and they're not necessarily my age. It could be like in their mid forties up to like their mid fifties. And they've told me that the right after they got on TRT, their wives wanted to start fucking them again. And it was, you know, maybe they were going to the gym and looking a little bit better, but it was almost like within like, so well, there's probably about a 10, we went about 10 weeks, 12 weeks with their, their wife's libido suddenly spiked again. They didn't know why that was. Now their theory is that, you know, women pick up on the behavioral cues of that heightened testosterone level in that guy. Other people want to say, well, they can smell it on you. It's like the stinky, you know, t-shirt, uh, you know, the, the sweaty t-shirt uh, test that Marty Hazelton did, and maybe they kind of pheromonally can pick up on like increases in, in testosterone level via, you know, smell jury's still out on that, but I'm not, I'm not going to say it couldn't be possible, but uh, certainly behaviorally, I think, um, you know, you're, you're certainly in a much better mood and you're certainly you know, effort feels good. So there might be behavioral changes that happen as a result of like, you know, going on TRT, the same could happen. I think, theoretically speaking, that if you were to be married and then you got divorced and your testosterone level spiked and suddenly you're seen as more of an alpha than you were when you were married, certainly, certainly less tolerant of putting up with the same bullshit that you did when you were married. So I think there's, there's definitely some merit to it. I probably should dedicate a whole show to it at some point.